the face of farming is changing as an increasing number of millennials are now becoming farmers. Yeah, they're interested in organic food and sustainable farming practices and their choices for making an impact on the big food companies. Didi Roy has more from California. Chris Hay looks like a natural on his 150-acre farm, but the 34-year-old wasn't born on a farm. He studied philosophy in college, and up until seven years ago, Hay was living a city life, working a desk job. It just didn't jive with a lot of the uh, goals that I had for, for myself uh, professionally, and I enjoyed working with food, and all of those things just kind of meshed into why not try farming. That led him to a job on a farm, and now he's the owner of Sehe Farms in rural Yolo County, California. He's not alone. According to the USDA's most recent census of farmers from 2012, the number of principal farmers ages 25 to 34 increased 2.2 percent from five years before, while some of the older age brackets saw double-digit declines. A new survey by the National Young Farmer Coalition also finds that the upcoming generation of farmers is demographically different from previous generations. They're likely to be college educated, not grow up in farm families, use sustainable practices, and produce organic food. Among those recruiting millennial foodies into farming, Kimball Musk, brother of tech billionaire Elon Musk. If you looked at just five years ago, farming was considered, you know, this is what your grandparents did. And over the past few years, there's been this extraordinary demand and desire to be a farmer amongst our younger generation. He's disrupting the food chain with a collection of locally sourced restaurants and an urban farm accelerator called Square Roots. They received 1,100 applications from millennials to launch their own farm startups. It comes from the desire to be part of the real food revolution, to grow real food for their community, uh, it's a wonderful uh, uh, thing that's going on, and I'm, it's super exciting. Millennial focus on organic foods is having a real impact on business, too. Organic food sales in the U.S. totaled a record $43 billion in 2016, more than doubling since 2007. The biggest group driving those sales? Millennial parents, according to the Organic Trade Association. And in a note this year about the packaged food industry, Goldman Sachs wrote, Millennial consumers should drive the entirety of the industry's growth in the next decade. For Chris Hay, using sustainable practices and producing organic food isn't a business decision. It's just the right thing to do. We're out here to help move the ball forward, um, and it's a whole system of change that needs to take place. Mm. That was a DD Roy reporting.